Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays B11EA92? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does B11EA92 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Chrysler, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code B11EA92 interpret specifically for Chrysler car manufacturers? The basic definition is Right temperature knob request input, performance or incorrect operation. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. The HVACAC heater control contains various switches and knobs that are used to change the system's operation. There are currently three types of switches used depending on the configuration of the system push button momentary switches which are normally open or in the off position multifunction or rotary switches which have several distinct positions and potentiometers which are a rotary variable resistor that is used for a more precise control and active diagnostic trouble code DTC indicator indicates that either a control switch or potentiometer is stuck in an on position or out of a calibrated range of stored DTC indicates that control switch or potentiometer was stuck on or out of calibration but has since returned to its normal state for further information lower than a href equals a equals 0 ampt equals 191,499 higher than refer to heating and air conditioning controls control AC and heater description Description refer to list 1 lower than a higher than. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Lower than P higher than A or C heater control lower than or P higher than performance or incorrect operation This subtype is used for failures where the control module has detected that the component performance is outside its expected range or operating in an incorrect way. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.